This is a tale of an unfortunate princess. On her wedding day, she was abducted by a giant dragon and, due to excessive fright, fell from a hundred foot cliff. In a critical moment, a young man followed her, leaping down. As it descended, his body ignited into flames, ultimately bursting into a fireball. He, too, transformed into a dragon, and Mira landed on his back, unharmed. However, the dragon was severely injured and lost consciousness. Mira thought of killing him to end it all, but she couldn't bring herself to do it after picking up a stone. Eventually, her compassion prevailed, and she dragged Armin back into the cave, using wild herbs to treat his wounds and soothing him with songs. When he woke up, the weather had cleared, and the island looked like a paradise, far from the lair of the evil dragon. Still, Mira remained somewhat fearful of Armin, only daring to talk to him from a distance. Armin explained that he didn't intend to disrupt the wedding. It was the warrior's song that awakened the dragon DNA inside him, and he couldn't control 